in the biological system unless atp hydrolyzes a biochemical reaction don't take place similarly if nobody makes money then nothing will be made right so how do you balance the two so i came to delhi with a single dream 13 years back from bangalore university of science where i thought of science is a way of personal growth and how do you build a career how do you get world class science how you write a paper how do you get the next award how you do get the next publication and the next uh, grant it was in mid 90s i was studying uh, on my way to uh, uh, vinod that i was interested in thalassemia and i was thinking of looking at biological system mutation to understand certain protein function and since i was interested in genomics i already i was a member of the hugo but i was very very interested in writing a paper but i was not thinking of solving the problem so i went to calcutta where i was born and went to ramkrishna mission hospital where i was born and then i saw a lab where they are actually looking at and screening uh patients and they were using old technique some paper chromatography approach so i realize that i have the pcr i can design oligo i can do this i can do that i have the first sequencer in india automatic sequencer and why can't we use this so although i went with an objective to do discovery to write a paper by mind changed seeing the suffering of the patients and the mothers who brought those children who had thalassemia i felt all my knowledge is useless if it cannot be used so i decided to dedicate 20% of my automated dna sequencing facility to thalassemia screening and decided to develop primers and standardize pcr so that the disease can be detected in the carrier and all of many of you know that if you are a mother is a carrier father is a carrier both if get married and have children there is a 50% chance 25% chance they will have a diseased child and 50% chance they will have a carrier therefore if you don't marry and the best example is a state cyprus which is a christian state where abortion is not recommended who decided to do this screening and who are completely free of thalassemia so i was very keen that this need to be done and that small lab you know 100 square feet going as to i come from indian institute of science big institute big professor big awards big recognitions so i used to go there sit there to the student and eventually established and several years back i went back and i saw there are 16 photographs of children face these are the children who were born out of the prenatal analysis without the disease although their parents were both carrier and that made me feel very happy and i think i had more happiness than the papers i wrote in pnas or jbc or jacks with that mind in 96 i heard dr abdul kalam and i realized that it is possible through the government system to do something very big so i came to csir with a dream to establish genomics and bioinformatics in india as a utilizable tool and use to provide the next generation healthcare as i said you get motivated by a leader and then that motivation works like a chain then you have to have a disciple and then disciple picks it up and takes it further when you have gone 
And that's the way history tells you. So it was Mitali Mukherjee who got Bhatnagar Award this year and Debashish Dash, the bioinformatics champion who didn't have much experience in bioinformatics when he joined me in 1998, who built up the CBT to IGIB. So when I was finishing that work, Indian Genome Variation, I realized that this has happened. Now bioinformatics is a discipline of science in which India is a dominant player. Genomics is a discipline of science in which we have made significant play. What is next? I felt that 1998, the sequencing has been done for the human, uh, of the, when we had, I want to do, I looked at what is the disease that we can tackle. And tuberculosis came out obvious because 1,000 people die every day. 5,000 in India, 5,000 will die in the world. No army, not even the most mightiest army of the United States can stop that. It is in the hand of few thousand scientists who can make a difference. I was also fortunate to be associated with AstraZeneca's development and I saw, in spite of 25 years, 70 scientists, 9 to 10 million dollars per annum effort, still they could not create a new drug, completely new for the tuberculosis. So I realized there is something somewhere wrong. And we are approaching the problem differently. So why I said we are approaching the problem differently? Because of this. Somewhere, if you look at Alexander Fleming, never patented penicillin. Louis Pasteur, for whom we all take the pasteurized milk, didn't patent it. The only disease that we have got rid of completely, smallpox, the vaccine is generic. So anything, this world, somewhere something went wrong and we got into a route where we started putting a strong fence the way you put around an expensive factory. Imagine all Kerala's paddy field, you start putting electrical fence. What would be the cost of rice? Will it work? No. What do you do? You put a scarecrow. And this is the human genome sequencing learning. People originally thought they'll patent it. Then they figured out it is too expensive to patent. And what level you will patent? You let all the DNA sequence, RNA sequence, expression profile, proteomics, protein level. You endlessly you will patent. Therefore, it is best to give it open. So the whole world has given the entire human genome open. The second learning, that entire line X has worked with the young people. So what is that AstraZeneca the Bangalore does not have, whereas what I have? And I realized whether it is AstraZeneca, it is a Pfizer, it is Smith Kindbech, it is Bristol Measquiv, it is everybody. They do not have 22 to 32 years age group doing research for them. They have them as clean technician who are working like a robot with machine and the codified. They are doing routine screening, but they are not thinking. 